marks two years of this nightmare. Two years since my son has been gone. I haven't been able to see my son, hug him, kiss him, or tuck him into bed. Not a day goes by that I don't think of him, or I don't think of anything else that I can do to bring him home. I pray that he will come home to me. I wait for the phone call every day to tell me that he's coming home. I hope that I am wrong, but I fear that he is gone forever. I believe that Terry Horman knows where Kyron is. I believe that Terry Horman is responsible for where my son is. The time has come for Terry to take responsibility for what she has done and to tell me and my family where Kyron is and how he got there. I believe that eventually the criminal justice system will take action against Terry. I have made the decision at this time to bring a lawsuit against her. It is my intention to use every legitimate tool within the civil justice system to prove this lawsuit. The lawsuit seeks an injunction compelling Terry Horton to return Kyron to his parents or, if he is dead, compelling Ms. Horman to reveal the whereabouts of his remains. The lawsuit also seeks damages of $10 million. I do not intend to keep anything that is awarded from this case. Any money that I recover will be dedicated and used for families and parents of other missing children. I don't want Terry's money. I want Terry to face justice. Some of you might ask, why now? Why bring a civil case at this time? The answer is pretty straightforward. Although there is no statute of limitations in the criminal justice system on a murder trial, on a murder charge, there is a statute of limitations of two years in the civil system for bringing a claim of bring claims of the sort we are bringing today. Until I can bring Kyron home, I will not rest. It's time for there to be answers, and it is time for Terry to accept responsibility. Kyron, we will never stop. We will never give up. I promise. closer to the anniversary of his, of Kyron's disappearance. And of course, more interest uh, publicly is, is there. And, you know, so that's why, you know, we want to let the public know that we are still looking for Kyron. And we are still investigating this case as an active case. Is there